Well, crews are in the thick of cleanup efforts tonight at Green Bay's Preble High School after rags disposed of incorrectly caught fire last week. Tonight, we take a tour with the contractor to check out the progress and what's still left to be done. NBC 26's Deanna Corinthios is live from Preble with the very latest. Deandra? Stacy, some good news to report. The boys' locker room passed inspections today. That means some players and coaches were able to get in there, going from the outside, obviously. So progress there. There is still a lot, though, that needs to be thrown away inside the school. You can see some dumpsters out front here. And, of course, a lot more to clean up. It's unstable ground over there. The fire started in the bleachers and spread fast. This is the epicenter of the damage. The vinyl coating that was on the, the soundboard that was at the top of the gymnasium, that's what melted and carried the black soot throughout the building. Fans are ventilating and cleaning crews are wiping down every inch of the building as teachers survey the damage in their classrooms. While a room may look okay, it's what you can't see that's important. All these lockers all had the potential for this odor and the soot to get behind them inside the wall cavity. A hygienist is taking air and surface samples throughout the building to determine how much contamination there is. We're waiting for a lot of those samples to come back to tell us, do we have to replace all those ceiling tiles or can we clean them? The school will not be ready for class on September 2nd. There's so much work going on. But what's still unclear is where students will go. The district has not ruled out sending students to other schools, something one mom says she hopes does not happen at her child's middle school. It's a lot more bodies, bigger bodies, and, you know, it's like a little hard to keep a watchful eye. Now, the contractors are meeting with school district leaders every day at 11 a.m. with a progress report to let them know what rooms have been cleaned, which rooms are finished, but still nothing definitive on when this building will be ready. Reporting live from Preble High School, Deandra Corinthios, NBC 26.